Big welcome to all web models and managers. My name is Elijah and today I will reveal the veil of mystery and show you a secret way to promote your fansly or OnlyFans profile using YouTube. This approach can not only attract new customers to your page, but also provide you a decent semi-passive income apart from the content selling platforms. Keep in mind, this way is a little more complicated than using Reddit but it has a much more significant payoff for sure. The sequence of tasks seems quite simple at first sight. Get as many views as possible and then monetize them. But it might not be that easy, especially for beginners who has never done it before. First, let's go one step at a time and figure out how to get these views and what videos you need to publish to get them. First rule. Sexualize everything that can be sexualized. Rule number two, be careful, because YouTube has a hostile attitude towards overly explicit content. But how do you find the perfect middle ground while keeping it safe for YouTube, as well as appealing to your audience at the same time? Today we'll look at several areas that are successfully balancing within these limits, bringing in lots of views and remaining invisible to most of your colleagues. And the first type includes everything related to sports. But don't worry, you don't actually need to have any professional skills in any kind of sports category. Let's look at the first video. Here a girl does a pretty amateur version of jumping rope and the video gets 10 million views in one year. You can surely notice that no special skill is required here. Some laughter and smiles, a little physical activity and no bra. Still safe, yet candid enough to make millions of men drool over the video before they go to bed. But the model also made a major mistake while posting. Check out how many tags she used for this video. I wouldn't recommend using tags at all in any of these areas. If you need a keyword, put it in the title. Now YouTube works with tags in a way that each tag you add will only cut off some of the audience from you which might be good for a real workout video that aims to catch a relevant audience who is looking for a serious jump rope workout program. But here the task is quite different and the audience needs to be as diverse as possible. Training with jump rope works only as a cover, so tags only get in the way here. Imagine the situation. Female crossfitter who wants to improve her jumping technique, searching for the jump rope workout, comes across her video watches a few seconds, get disappointed, dislike it, and closes the video. YouTube sees the statistics and decides that your video isn't appealing to the audience you recorded for, giving you progressively fewer and fewer views, putting your channel in the pit. You might ask here, why does YouTube suddenly think that this exact girl is your audience? Because you told it so, by carefully writing every possible tag for the jump rope workout. If you didn't, the video would have shown much better results. The second video in this area is mimicking a yoga class manual. But it's a pretty basic move. Note that this one of the few models who hides her face behind a mask. This might decrease views a little, but it still works if you really care about keeping your privacy. But it works for YouTube. Keep in mind though, that making good money on Fansly or OnlyFans by covering your face will be extremely difficult. The element of sexualization in this video is the short skinny shorts and the outlines of her breasts which are clearly visible throughout the t-shirt. This video has gotten 3 million views so far since it was published. Another type we're going to break down is cleaning. And no, it's not the same cleaning videos for perfectionists that you've probably seen on YouTube. It's not the before and after thing. It's all about the way you move in the process, leaning and stretching casually, bending over, creates poses that only casually looks like something familiar to our mind. In the following video, you can see a girl washing the window in a transparent dress for 7 minutes. The process of cleaning is hardly visible to the viewer. They won't see much of the dirt vanishing or enjoy the result, but they will enjoy the process, catching the very moments that will make their imaginations go wild. And here we are, 3 million views in just 2 weeks. The next girl vacuums the stairs in her house for 8 minutes. Notice the very discrete elements of sexualization in comparison to the previous cases. No outlines of breasts and butt and clothes are fairly casual. The subject for the view is obviously her legs, but they don't cross the usual limits of decency at all. Still, the nylon tights fit around the bare feet, 
creating a sparkle and delight and attracting a large audience of fans of that specific fetish. The video shows very impressive results, considering it's quite limited targeting. 350,000 views in 4 weeks. The next type is cooking. Obviously no one here is making any attempt at any cooking skills. Making food is just a cover for true goals. This video got 18 million views, partly because of the open rope and exposed breasts. There are also elements of ASMR in moments where a chicken breast is being sliced. It's hard to keep the connection in mind when a woman's hands are rubbing a chicken breast sliced in half with the typical sounds of moisture. That's right, the next topic is educational content. And no, it's not a mistake. The level of lessons in this category can only compete with the elementary school, but it's targeted to an adult audience. Here the model reviews how to say hello, good evening and good morning in German. The video is followed by a very subtle element of sexualization, a tight dress that highlights the difference between the size of the waist, hips and breasts. However, the video gets 1.5 million views within a year. In a lot of funny comments like, German is my native language, but it's always nice to repeat the lessons you've learned. The next category is outfit reviews, or, as it is commonly said in the YouTube world, the whole. The point of these videos is that the model is trying on different outfits while turning in front of the camera to clearly show them on video. The demonstration can be followed by the leaf or voiceover commentary or it can be completely silent. Let's review the first sample of dress up video. You can notice that the outfit in this video are not at all fancy, expensive or explicit. They are just the usual clothes of an average girl, perhaps even less expensive than what you are used to wearing. And yes, the statistics are very impressive. Unfortunately, the model forgot to put the word whole in the title of the video, which is the main keyword in the category that opens the way to a broader audience. At this point, I suggest you not to confuse the keyword in the title with the text of the video, and I still don't advise you to add text. Keep in mind that when you move your mouse pointer over the timeline of the video, you may find the chart with peaks. Always carefully analyze each peak in your opponent's video. Usually, at the beginning of the decline of such a peak, it's a moment where the audience of that model most frequently rewatched the video. You can find tips in these moments about the things that are most likely going to keep your viewers' attention. By analyzing what the model was doing in that part of video, you can add the same feature to your own videos in order to increase viewer retention. Here you may notice that the close-up shows her breasts peeking through her blouse. And yes, once again, it's the same carrot on the string that plays with the man's brain so easily. Check out the second video in the same section. Elements of sexualization are more obvious here. The girl did her makeup and styled her hair. The clothes for the video were chosen purposely. Tops with an explicit neckline, tight fitting leggings and shorts. You probably also noticed a huge gap in the level of production. The final picture quality is at an entirely different level compared to the previous video. However, you shouldn't be fooled, because videos shot on a webcam in a worn-out apartment can often be quite competitive compared to such polished professional videos. Our previous example shows this clearly. The audience loves real girls. You don't have to be a perfect blogger, but don't push it too far. There is still a minimum quality level. It's important to have a good light setup, so your video will look good even if it's shot on your phone. In the first half of this video, I purposely focused your attention on different levels of explicitness used by different models on their channels. Right now, when we're going to cover your channel's monetization strategy, this will be key, and I'll explain why a little later. But first, let's break down a few ways to monetize this kind of content on YouTube, because each of them has its pros and cons. The first way to monetize it – the reason we're all here. If you're watching this video, it means you already have Fansly or OnlyFans or you're thinking about signing up on these platforms. If so, just a reminder that you can use my referral link in the video description to get access to more details on making money on this platform, 
and also more complex guide about how to build your traffic source on YouTube. Now let's go back to the first video to break down one of the most common mistakes. In this video the link to the OnlyFans is given straight in the pinned comment and it's given right away which is pretty dangerous. Like Instagram and many other platforms YouTube is not a big fan of promoting such things. So it's better to use a link management services like o.me or Linktree. But you can notice that some models use the service Cash Baby. Each of these choices has its pros and cons. o.me and Linktree show your link directly. But Cash Baby hides it at the bottom of the screen and the users will have to scroll down to the end of the page. But they try to compensate it by having people follow your link and then signing up on the platform. You get credits, with which you can buy a temporary spot in the top and through internal traffic more people will notice your profile with a link. You also need to be aware that a link published on YouTube in a pinned comment triggers YouTube's algorithm to pay extra attention to your channel, which is not a good thing, given the specifics of this content. That's why the most convenient place to publish the link is the description of your video. So, to sum up this monetization option, all you must use a link management services for your link and publish it in the video description. The next way to monetize your content is YouTube Partner Program. Let's look at this model's channel. She started making content for YouTube a year ago. The views are pretty good, but let's see if there is any monetization. There is none. Well, the account achieves its purpose, collects traffic and advertises OnlyFans. In total the channel has gained over 63 million views in a year. If it was connected to YouTube's partner program and every video gets a green dollar sign, it would already be able to bring in $59,000 and that's just for one year. That's about $5,000 a month from YouTube monetization. And monetization for a channel of this type can be done pretty easily, so why isn't there any? The answer is quite simple. If you follow the model's OnlyFans link, you'll see the familiar user is inactive label and an attached link to Fansly. From this we can see that the model lives in Russia and most likely thinks that there is no way for her to monetize it. And I think you can figure out why. As you can notice, there are no new videos posted on this channel for a long time. If we take a look at the view statistics, we can see that the channel is still getting about 969,000 views per month. If there was monetization on the channel along with the green dollar sign on videos, it would still be making about $1,000 a month just from YouTube partnership, not counting the traffic that would come to Fansly or OnlyFans. Using sites like Buy Me A Coffee or GoFundMe, it's another way to monetize your YouTube channel. This is where you can get generous donations. These websites are extremely popular, so if some people don't want to sign up on your profile on OnlyFans or Fansly, they will still be able to support you financially with the help of such websites. And now let's return to the level of explicitness of the content. Why one channel can have a video that looks like this? and another channel can have a video like this. The point is that by filming a video like in the first case, you will draw a much larger audience than in the second. But then why doesn't the model in the second case allow herself to do the same? It's simply because she wants both ways of monetization. From YouTube partnership, as much as from traffic coming to her fansly and OnlyFans. And YouTube, on the other hand, it's extremely attentive to content that explicitly shows that its main goal is to cause a sexual stimulation among the viewers. The model in the first example chose her own way. She chose to draw the highest level of audience by crossing the line of explicitness. And in doing so, she intentionally sacrificed the opportunity to get money from her views on YouTube but probably gaining much more money on Fansly and OnlyFans. You can never know in advance which strategy would be more beneficial to you. Well, you can sit on two chairs at once. The truth is, you still can. You can publish more explicit content, get more views and still have monetization from your channel. I've already told you about this in my guide, which you can get for free right now. You will learn about the details and pitfalls of promoting the web model channels from the ground up. How to create and design a YouTube channel, how to monetize it, which content category you should focus on to gain 
an audience in the fastest way, and how to use YouTube Shorts to boost your channel and much more. And you will also get a compilation of references from more than 30 channels of your opponents. And now you have two options for getting this guide. The free option is to be a member of my referral program on Fansly or OnlyFans. You need to sign up for Fansly or OnlyFans using the link in the description of this video, previously deleting your current account through settings account delete account. When signing up for Fansly, specify the code only cash in the create referral code section and text me I'm a referral via Telegram. The second option is purchase the complete YouTube guide for web models by the link in the description.